if you guys can <clears throat> see this or not. Nine millimeter, 1911. I got this years ago and actually never shot it. According to the records, this has less than 400 rounds through it, 300 and, 300 and something. And uh, <clears throat> if you follow the website, you'll see that we uh, change out the mainspring housing and the uh, put in a removable magwell on it. And um, also I damaged the, the sear spring, so I had to order a new one of those. And sort of the sear spring. This is what the old sear spring looks like, but I broke, I damaged it, so I had to get a new one. So I'm sitting here on a Thursday night, and I'm just bringing back memories of what it was like to run a 1911. And, you know, some people say that you really shouldn't, oh, bobble that one. You probably shouldn't switch between guns, especially with the thumb safety. But I'll tell you what, it's calling me. We're definitely going to be bringing this uh, this gun out a little bit more on the range this year, 2011, 20, 20, 2020, 2011. I'm getting old. So um, for those interested, two-tone, stainless, stainless, it's got a, whatever their Cerakote coating is over there at Ed Brown, it's whatever that is. So, but uh, comes in at about four and a, or to about five and a half pounds. Let me see if we can, if we can get this on film. Five point six. So I didn't do too bad of a job tuning that uh, that leaf spring. I mean, it's certainly not race gun, but you know, uh, I could probably carry this gun again. Carry a nineteen eleven again. Oh, screwed that one up. Not bad. <clears throat> Nineteen Eleven's just in my wheelhouse. It's just a gun that I'm real comfortable with. The thumb safety. Um, I kind of taught myself to not basically to always work a thumb safety. So if I'm on a on a uh, like a Glock or a you know VP9 or something, if I knock the imaginary thumb safety off, it doesn't really make a difference. So. Um, the only thing on this gun I'd probably change is this has adjustable night sights on it and they're like a target night sight and uh, it's kind of sharp. I don't really, you know, if I want to come over the top of the gun, I don't know if running drills, that's really going to be optimal. That light's not very good, but what, whatever. So they do make a ledge. I haven't looked at these in years. I probably haven't looked at ledge rear sights for 1911s in probably a decade. But I know someone out there probably makes a, a ledge cut for this Bomar style, Bomar style, uh, you know, rear sight. Eh, you know, maybe if I could adjust that, you know, knock that out and put that in and maybe keep the same front. I could knock that out too. It's just in there with a pin. So, or you never know. Maybe I'll just have a cut for a red dot and go full crazy. But I don't, I don't think I'll, I'll do that. Um, I just think the, uh. I just think the uh, nine millimeter all steel, that's that's the key. And kind of what got me thinking about this was, you know, at SHOT Show this year, and yeah, some last year too, is they started bringing out all steel versions of the polymer wonder guns, like the PP. Walther has some and some other people. And it's like, well, you know, because they if the idea being with nine millimeter, you know, you've got more weight. Um, which is also benefit like the G3435, you know, with the length too, but it's really the weight that makes the difference. And uh, I'm like, well, you know, I have an all steel nine millimeter handgun here in the armory somewhere. So just, you know, kind of dug this one out. So yeah, it's definitely coming back to me. Let's 
Let's see, anything else to talk about with the, uh, oh, this is interesting too for those of you that, uh, this particular magwell, it uh, has a little uh, hex key. You can basically, it's a set screw and whole thing lifts right off. I'm sure there's, I know, as a matter of fact, I know there are better, there are better um, magwell designs. And you know, if I go deep into this, I'm sure I could probably get, you know, get something. But I need a I need a nine millimeter nineteen eleven to keep up with those uh, cool SWAT kids and their uh, STI staccato P guns that hold like a hundred bullets. So I figured, you know, I could just reload a lot. So anyway, that's the end of what I'm doing on a Thursday night here in the armory. Remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. Everybody, have a good day.